In this video, I'm gonna give you six exact strategies how to find drop servicing clients for your drop servicing business. Let's go. Number one, buy an email list from fiverr.com. It gives you the company name, it gives you the cell phone, it gives you the email address. And also there is another way as well. So what you can do is you can find a seller who does data scraping based on your requirements. So for example, you say, I want restaurant owner emails. I want nightclub owner emails, etc., etc. You order it here and you get these emails delivered. So some of these sellers on Fiverr, they will actually do the scraping. Sometimes they use software, sometimes they do it manually, but there's also pre-made lists. So for example, here, I'm pretty sure that they already have that list. So they're reselling it multiple times. What is really cool as well, guys, if you watched a lot of my videos, and I hope you did, uh, I'm big on video editing. This is a massive secret and a massive hack, guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm giving so much value here. Look, YouTube emails. You search that, right? I will discover YouTube channels and extract their emails. A lot of the sellers on here, they actually provide YouTuber emails. Look, 200 premium is 10,000 YouTuber emails. So this strategy is the fast track to get video editing clients. But you know, if you wanna send 10,000 emails, then of course you need to buy a email sending software. You can't do it from a simple Gmail. Of course, I'm not saying guys that you buy this list and suddenly you send one email and you're gonna get a ton of clients. If this list is here, then it means that other people are buying it as well. Strategy number two, freelancer websites. I'm talking about fiverr.com, upwork.com, freelancer.com, peopleperhour.com and similar kind of websites. Now guys, I'm gonna show you a strategy what a lot of people are actually doing. So when you go on fiverr.com, how do you know that this seller is not a drop servicer? And I'm gonna tell you something that you might not know. Half of these people, maybe not half, but like 30% are actually drop servicing from other people. So they are not the end creators. So for example, if I buy a logo from this guy at 21 pounds, right? Maybe he's drop servicing from a guy who's on page eight and both service is, let's say, let's say eight pounds. So what you can do is actually you can create a lot of different listings on Fiverr.com and you can drop service from Fiverr to Fiverr, if that makes sense, okay? You can also do the same with Upwork. You can drop service from Upwork, here's where you're gonna be looking for clients and you're gonna be drop servicing from Fiverr. Fiverr is usually a bit cheaper than Upwork. So for example, if you register on uh, upwork.com, okay, and as you can see, the prices are slightly higher here. I'm not saying that you're gonna get clients 100% on upwork.com when you register. But if you create a lot of gigs, a lot of different gigs, let's say 20 different gigs. So you research some niches, right? And you create like 20 different gigs. You need to go into a specific niche where there's a lot less competition. So in one of my latest videos, I showed you this niche, which is cartoon design uh, Sim Simpsons. Let's have a look. So guys, so with this one, these kind of sellers, they can turn you in Simpsons or Family Guy character. So what you can do, right, is you can drop service from this guy and you can create your own listing at a higher price. Can you see how it works, right? I just want you to get the principle and the same works of other platforms. So about this niche, there's only like 128 services. So as you can see, this isn't actually that competitive. So guys, the principle is you can actually drop service from Fiverr to Fiverr and also from Fiverr to Upwork, from Upwork to Fiverr, from freelancer.com to Fiverr, etc. If you create multiple accounts on so many different platforms, choose something like 10 niches, right? And create a around 50 adverts, there is a high chance that you're gonna be getting an order every single day, honestly. And of course, you're gonna see which of those platforms perform better, and then you can focus on that. Number three, reddit.com. On Reddit, you can find a lot of different subreddits where you can actually get clients for your drop servicing business. So for example, if you wanna drop service video editing, guess what? YouTube is gonna be a massive, potential place to find clients. Because look at this, guys. We have seven 
146,000 people who are in this subreddit. So if I'm looking for clients on Reddit, I need to find different subreddits where people interested in video editing can hang out. And of course, YouTube is definitely one of them. So for example, look at this, good video editor, looking for a video editor uh, that is willing to work. And also guys, in one of my latest videos, I showed you two potential niches that you can do with crypto. So you can find crypto subreddits as well, and they're very popular. So what you can offer is you can offer NFT production and design, and also you can offer crypto coin development and launch. So on Reddit, there are three strategies. Strategy number one is to drop a comment under a post that has something to do with video editing or you know graphic design or whatever the service you are promoting. And then some people might see your post and message you. You can also message people as I just showed you. So you can message people and then you, know, you can offer their service straight to them into their mailbox. And the final thing is just submitting a post. So I can say that, you know, I'm a video editor, I can provide you video editing services, blah, 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 you know, the text and stuff like this. Number four, Craigslist and other classified websites. So as you can see, I just chosen a location as being New York. You know, somebody is posting listings here every single day, right? So, you know, website designer, graphic designer, marketing, branding, you know, affordable web design. There's a phone number. So of course you can include your email and you can include a small text here. And with this strategy, of course you need work samples. And as I showed you in one of my latest videos, work samples you can actually get from Fiverr itself. Okay, so you choose a service provider and then you copy their work and you can paste it in here. Okay, when you create the listing and that's how you can actually drop service in New York on Craigslist from Fiverr.com and you can be in any country of the world. You don't actually have to be in New York. And of course, some clients might expect that you are physically based in New York, but it doesn't have to be that way. Maybe you're based somewhere else in the world and you're just drop servicing from Fiverr onto Craigslist and you know, you can provide your WhatsApp number here and also you can provide your email. And if someone contacts you, then you can just tell them that, look, I'm based in another city in the US or I'm based in another country, but I can still do the service, right? And it's gonna be cheaper than locally. Here's another example, gumtree.com. This is the number one most popular classified website in the UK. So as you can see, people are also posting here, graphic design, logo design, and stuff like that. So as you can see, you can drop service from fiverr.com and post ads on Gumtree and similar kind of websites. You can post on Craigslist and find clients using this way. Strategy number five, Instagram. On Instagram, what you can do is you can follow the strategy of this guy. Have a look. So what he did, right, is he has a professional logo. He has a full, you know, description of what he does. He has his WhatsApp, he has his email, and he has a brilliant portfolio. So what you do essentially is you create an Instagram profile, you add all your details, you add a number, you add a Gmail, and then you start uploading different kind of logos, guys. And these logos, you're gonna get them from Fiverr.com. As I teach you guys, once you choose your provider, it could be on Fiverr, it could be on Upwork or any other website, and then you have their portfolio at your fingertips, okay? All these logos, you're gonna crop and you're gonna paste it in here. And bam, you have your portfolio like this. I can create a profile like that in a span of a day. And then these logos are gonna be promoted by Instagram to some degree. So maybe you can get some organic orders as well. But also what you can do then, of course, is you can start messaging people and companies to offer them logo design. And when they open your profile, they're gonna see, wow, this is so cool. He has his portfolio straight there in Instagram. You know, it looks really good. And also this profile is really useful for other things. For example, if you're messaging people on LinkedIn, if you're sending emails, you can attach this as your portfolio and start the outreach to get clients. And finally, strategy number six. On LinkedIn, this person, Ramsha, pitch deck designer. And how do I know about her? So what she does, she's very clever. So she created this profile, which looks like it's a portfolio. It's an advertisement for her graphic design work, you know, because she even has it in the name. Yes, you can do that on LinkedIn. In your name, you can actually add this, which is a massive 
walking advertising, you know? So if you like somebody's post and then you have them on their friends, they will see in their feed this name. They'll see Ramsha Pitch Deck Designer. And it actually sticks out so much. You know, I'm a heavy LinkedIn user and what I really like as well, you know, check my portfolio here. So she has so much stuff on, on, on this LinkedIn profile. So if you click on that, right? Brilliant portfolio with uh, branding, corporate design, logos, uh, you know, business cards and stuff like that. She also attached these two things as featured things as well. She added her work experience. And here's the thing, what she also does and how I actually found her, right? She adds people. Look, 1,530 followers. You know, with this profile, 1,500 people will really not invite you. So what she's doing, she's pro actively reaching out to people, connecting to people. And then once she connects with you, she starts commenting under your posts, interacts with your posts, like your posts. This happened to me, okay? And she also has this section, which is providing services. So this is basically a walking advertising. You know, everything is just made to advertise her business. So that's how powerful this strategy is and how much it stands out, especially when she starts interacting with my posts. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you found a ton of value and now you feel a lot more confident in finding drop servicing clients. If you did, drop a like for the YouTube algo, subscribe to my channel and watch this video next.